Good morning, everyone. Today's Lagba Omer. And yes, I am clean shaven once again. I want to talk about Rav Shem Bar Yochai. Rav Shem Bar Yochai was a great rabbi during the Mishnah era, a student of Rabbi Kiva, and today is actually his yard site. And that's why we celebrate today with bonfires. Not here right now, but that's what's customary. It's a day of celebration, a small celebration. Because of Shem Bar Yochai, he authored the Zohar. He brought the Zohar down, the Kabbalistic, mystical t- part of the Torah. He brought that into the world. And that's why we light bonfires to commemorate Torahs compared to fire. I don't want to talk about that right now. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow in our Java for the Soul. But today I want to talk about a beautiful and fascinating and meaningful story that is mentioned in the Talmud. Now, the Talmud tells us that Rav Shem Bar Yechai and his son, Rabbi Lazar, were stuck in a cave for many years, hiding from the Romans who wanted to kill them. When they finally came out of the cave, the story goes that they came out on a Friday, and Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shem Bar Yechai saw your regular farmer coming in from the farm with uh, wheat, with some grain, different people doing different chores. And the Talmud goes ahead and says, Rabbi Lezer asks his father, why are they being so involved in the physical world? Now again, remember they were in the cave studying Torah and being only in the mystical world for many years. And Rabbi Lezer asks his father, he says, why are they wasting their time with the physical world? Why are they so busy with it? So Rabbi Shem Bayechai said, let's ask them. So they go and ask him. And they ask the guy, what are you doing with all this? He says, well, it's almost Shabbos. And I want to make sure that we have a beautiful table for Shabbos and we have good food for Shabbos. So I'm doing all this in honor of Shabbos. Rabbi Shem Bayechai turned to his son and said, look how worthy and great are the children of God. They're not just doing it for the physical world, for their own pleasure. But they're doing it for the honor of God, for the honor of Shabbos. Says Rav Shem Bayechai, that is the power of Torah. That is the power of the Jewish people. We take the physical and we go ahead and we elevate it. That is true spirituality. That is true greatness. Said Rav Shem Bayechai, we have a lot to learn still. Let's take this tremendous lesson and learn from Shem Bayechai and realizing how powerful it is to go ahead and convert and transform the physical into something spiritual. And let's take this special day where we celebrate Rav Shem Bayechai's legacy in life, who authored, yes, the great Zohar. And let's focus on working to take the physical, our monetary goods, our day-to-day activities, and conform it and change it into something spiritual. Because that is true spirituality. Wishing everyone a beautiful day and a happy Lag Bomer.